Remember that candy pouch I made last week? Well, you see, I got a new request to make a bigger one because someone has been eating my jelly bellies. Turn him into four different style of bag. Not him, this one. So here is the game plan. Okay, maybe you can't see that. Let me start over. The plan. There will be two pieces of fabric and one zipper. And then we can somehow turn that into four different style of pouches. First one will be a triangle. Then we have a popcorn, a flat box, and a top box. Yeah, that's the plan. For the sakes of simplicity, all rectangles will be 6x12 and we gotta use SF101. For the basic steps, we're gonna start by attaching the interiors and the exteriors panel onto the zippers. I found that sewing tapes is the best way to temporarily hold these fabric in place. Once we top stitch over the zippers, we then gonna take the bottom of the fabrics and attach it to the other side of the zippers. And then we also will flip it out and top stitch as well. Once we finish this, you should have a somewhat of a pouch with the interior fabric on the inside and the exterior fabric facing outwards. Once that happened, you can then attach the key change tab, which make sure you attach it on the exterior panel only, not the interior. I finally finished all the three other pouches. For the triangle pouch, take the bag you already made in the previous basic steps, invert it inside out, mark the center point, fold both panels towards the zipper like an accordion, and then give it a little stitch on one side. Then on the opposite side, spread it out and align it, give it a sew, and make sure you leave a gap so that you could turn the bag right side out. Once that happened, then you could close up the hole, and there you have it, a nice little triangle pouch. The popcorn pouch is one of my favorite, and to make this pouch, what you need to do is flip the pouch inside out so that the exterior panel is inside the interior panel. Mark the center point and align the center point along the zipper teeth on both ends. Fold the side towards the zipper teeth, temporarily secure in place and stitch across. Trim away the excess end, turn the bag right side out and fold in the ends. One thing I would say though, if I were to make this bag, I will move the keychain tab towards the center where the zipper is. To make the flat box, turn the pouch inside out so that the interior is on one side and the exterior is on the other side. Cut the bottom of the interior panels, then sew it but leave a gap so that you could turn the back inside out later. Now take both bottoms and fold it towards the zipper teeth like an accordion. Sew the ends using the gap that you created previously, flip the panel inside out like this. Box the corner, then turn it right side out. Now you have it, a flat box. Although one change I would make to this pouch is that I would move the key chain tab closer to the zipper. Making the top box is very similar to the flat box. The only difference is that once you turn it inside out, you wanna close up that gap. Then you turn it right side out. Once you turn it right side out, you will then box the corner on the exterior panel. Cut the ends, turn the pouch inside out, sew along the seam, turn the bag right side out, and there you have it. Again, if I were to make this bag, I will move the key change tab towards the zipper. Mm -hmm. 